All right, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about yelping and the different kinds of yelping. Um, start with a plain yelp, which is just a turkey wandering through the woods. A lot of times it can be a contented sound, but she is looking for company. She's always looking to see how everybody's doing. It's going to sound like this. There's not a lot of emotion in it. It's kind of blah. It's kind of bland. A lot of times it'll be a single note yelp, a two note yelp. It's not a big long sequence. It's not got a lot of emotion. And like I said, it's just somebody wandering down the road saying, hey, how are you? Good morning. Uh, the next thing is you can kind of step it up, put more emotion, and that's when a, uh, a excited yelp. And that's a hen that's um, looking for company. She's heard another hen in the distance, maybe even a competitor, maybe even, you know, a foe that she's uh, wanting to uh, express some, you know, aggression toward. And that's going to sound more like Got a lot more bass, a lot more body. I mean, she's really wanting the sound to reach out there. She's really showing some aggression or some pleading aspects. The next one I want to hit is the assembly yelp, and it's kind of hand in hand with the excited yelp. It's meant to reach a long distance. Um, the difference in the assembly and the excited yelp or the plain yelp is oftentimes the length. You're talking a lot of times about a boss hen is a lot of times in the fall, but not exclusively. But it's just a uh, a lot more notes. It's going to drag out there a bit longer. She's really pleading. She's really wanting to make sure everybody hears her because she's trying to assemble her flock and get started on the day a lot of times. couple different variations there but it is a um, it is a sound that really just just is looking to carry a great distance and get everybody's attention she wants to go herd <laughs> 